Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video we are going to go through an explanation of the gate counter which has been added uh, recently. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with uh, a set of, of simple examples or use cases and then we progress on how you can better utilize it uh, in your uh, day-to-day -day music production. So, <clears throat> as you know, and if you don't know, I'll give you a short introduction. Um, notes are triggered by um, gate events in um, and in Drumbo. Uh, you have gate events which uh, uh, will go through the MIDI to CV plugin. Um, if you add an oscilloscope, like so, and we change the, the X scale. If we try type uh, or tap on the pad number one, you will see uh, if we do the connection on the gate signal, that pulse signal, which is for your gate event or messages. Okay, so if we put uh, a couple of notes like so and we click play, you see and the inputs, the gates opening and closing as well, based on the duration of the notes. So indeed, if you extend the duration of one note, the gate will last open longer from zero to one, and one will last longer from a time perspective. Let's do the same, for example, on um, the second note. You can see the gate is opened for longer. Okay, so bear that in mind. So now let's add uh, under generator an FM operator so that we can produce um, some sound. Very simple, let's get it, uh, give a bit of sustain as well. Okay, perfect. Let's also reduce a little bit the decay. And, and let's add now the gate counter. So let's go to modulator because it is uh, under the categories of being a modulator. So it's very simple as an interface. You have a number of steps from 1 to 16. The smoothness, um, which it will be um, how smooth it transition from one step to the other, a reset button and then a clock connection. And let's um, connect the oscilloscope to the gate and let's click play. And as you can see, it's one, two, three, four to go to the maximum level because it's set to four steps here. If we go to eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps, and then it starts again. Okay. Now, if let's move this back to four because it's easier to uh, to see on the screen. So four steps, if I change this move dial, you see um, the transition from one step to the other and also coming down is mover. Be careful because if you set this to a maximum, it will start to become just one signal going up and down because it's just move. Of course, you can have um, the FM operator being driven by the gate counter. So let's try from a gate signal, like so. In this case, it will stay open for the four steps. Then it will uh, drop and it will continue like so. Again, be careful at the value of smoothness if you want to use it in this way. But of course, this is not very exciting. So let's uh, make it a little bit more interesting. So <clears throat> let's reconnect these to the media to CV um, module so that we have no more um, uh, gating signals. Now let's connect the gate counter to the feedback of the FM operator. Let's increase the intensity and let's see what happens. So every time there is a pulse which is coming from the MIDI um, from the clock here, which is the gate signal here, 
uh, which it derived is triggered by the note which we insert in the steps then it will change it will go through the different steps so for every gate signals going through the MIDI CV it will trigger to go to the next step into the inside the gate counter which then will change the value on the feedback okay so let's increase this to eight step see what this sounds like okay so of course this is not still not that interesting so let's change the way and um, that uh, the gate counter is triggered so let's go to utility and uh, let's bring in a clock generator and let's connect the clock from the gate counter to the new clock generator and so doing we can decide how quickly how many triggers we have per bit and also how long the gate stays open which is uh, more interesting so less trigger as you can see slower more trigger less gate open more gate open and this is of course starting to get um, st more interesting again Let's add um, now another FM operator to make the sound uh, a little bit uh, uh, more interesting. So the connection has already been done. So let's click play and adjust some of the parameters. And so on and so forth so you can find lots of different use cases in uh, your day-to-day -day activities uh, and the way you use Drumbo because uh, ultimately you can use it as a, a ramp with a number of steps that you define and you can apply of course math operators and in that case you can also get uh, get it to trigger also signals after a number of steps course you have a reset button so you can bring in a, under utility for example um, a trigger button and if you do so let's move this closer at uh, the oscilloscope then you can use the trigger button if you connect it to the reset button to restart the triggering um, on um, the gate counter like so click 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 so Again, you, you can have uh, that um, connecting in a different way with different modules. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this introduction and explanation on the gate counter. I hope you found this useful and see you next time. Bye.